Oh, it's been a while. I'm on call, Dick. Tone gift bar, drinking as usual. Put your drink down and get your game face on. We've got some important questions for you, mister. Uh, okay. So, what do you make of it? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? It's the Windbloom Festival right now. You can't just go around asking people for help so blatantly. Ugh. Well, if you won't tell us the answer, could you at least tell us if this thing's worth a shot? Sounds to me like you want a hint or two. <laughs> a fine answer. The person who wrote this prophecy is very powerful. If you manage to solve the riddle, good things are sure to happen. Also, I happen to know where this lantern is. Once you've found the four things, I'll even write the location down for you. Isn't that generous of me? <laughs> Whatever. We weren't expecting much from you anyway. You can get back to guzzling wine and blowing wind now. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Paimon sees me as nothing more than a drunken wastrel. There are actually a great many things that we bards are required to do. <laughs> it just happens that enjoying life is the most important one. Once this is over, would you like to join me for a drink? You know, a favor for a favor. Flower that is not of this world. Hmm, not of this world. Sucrose! We've got some good news and some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, let's have the bad news first, I guess. Huh? Really? Don't most people usually want to hear the good stuff first? Oh, alright then. Basically, we went to Windrise to divine the breeze. The wind said that the prophecy is real and that your idea is a really good one. That doesn't sound like bad news. So what's the real bad news then? Uh, Paimon is the bad news! <laughs> If it's not funny, then it's his fault. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that puts my mind at rest. Now, back to the other issue I've been mulling over. I was thinking about the flower that is not of this world. It could mean a human-cultivated variety that doesn't occur in nature. But that's basically claiming that it doesn't come from this world in the first place, when actually it's just a variant of an existing breed. So... The initial question is, can the flower's origins be traced back to a natural organism? If so, it cannot be correctly described as not of this world. But then, supposing we identified something outside of that category, whose job would it be to decide whether it belongs in this world or not? Then the question becomes, do of this world and from this world mean the same thing? Or is it deeper than that? Whoa, whoa, slow down! Paimon's head is already starting to spin! Okay, um... I did have one other line of thought as well. What about a flower created using alchemy? Would that be not of this world? Albedo may know the answer, but asking him right away would be like asking the teacher for the answers to your exam paper. It would render our search for the truth meaningless. I'd rather try and figure this out for myself. Could it be the wind bloom? Oh, now that you mention it, that's definitely a possibility. The wind bloom doesn't refer to a specific flower. Everyone defines what it means for themselves. In which case, the wind bloom doesn't exist in reality. <sighs> This does seem like a promising direction. I've made a note. Okay, I better go read up on this. Yay! Paimo was actually useful this time! Guess we have that sweet madame to thank, huh? 
I'll need some time to prepare. Could we meet up here in, say, two days' time? Sure thing! In the meantime, we'll also think about the other three riddles in the prophecy. But, uh, since we're really going for this now, shouldn't we say something to Kale about it? I originally wanted to leave it as a surprise for her, and I also didn't want to get her hopes up over nothing. But you're right, Paimon. I'll need to be careful how I word it. But I'll try to find some time over the next couple days to mention it to her. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs>